Introduction to the combat world, Giorgio Petroni's in of Italy, quite simply, emphatically, factually, the greatest. Two-time K1 Max World Champion, a faultless fighter, flawless in every way. They call him the Doctor. Everything he does is with surgical precision. He's fought them all, he's beaten them, and now the greatest faces the biggest test of his illustrious career. The Doctor is in the house. You, you spoke about precision. I would like to talk about that because I feel like his precision is unprecedented. He, 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 you mentioned surgical accuracy. I cannot emphasize enough how incredible this man is at doing that. His forward pressure, his precision, and, and it's almost like he knows what his opponent's going to do before they know what he's going to do, Mitch. When he won the K1 Max title two times, especially the victory against Andy Sauer, he made it look so easy, Dragon. It was like a Sunday morning stroll in the park. It was a sparring session. And that at the time was the greatest championship you could possibly hold in the striking world. This man won it twice and did so both times without raising a drop of sweat. Yeah, the last time we saw Giorgio Petrosian inside, it was absolutely brilliant. He was able to pick apart, actually, Pet Morikov, Pet Yindi Academy's teammate, Sorgra, Pet Yindi Academy, and looked flawless doing it. The way he pieces combinations together is so accurate and so tight, especially his right hook to left straight. Watch it, watch the way he throws it, and the way he moves around, his head movement, it's flawless. But tonight has been jam-packed with upsets, and if there's one guy to do it, it's the two-time Lumpini world champion. Yeah, 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 let's go! Representing Thailand! Thank you for the court, thank you training when he was only nine years old. Moved to Bangkok at 12 to become a professional Muay Thai athlete. Now he's here at Morikov. Once again at the top of the world, a three-time world champion. And tonight he takes on the greatest kickboxer. Can Pet Morikov pull off the upset? Will Muay Thai trump kickboxing tonight? Or will Pet Morikov be out of his element? A sold out crowd here inside the Singapore Indoor Stadium. The final spot in the semi-final round of the US $1 million World Featherweight One Super Series Kickboxing Grand Prix. You know, when Pit, when Pit Morikov first came, he stumbled against Alivari Ramazanov, and then he flipped the switch. He makes stellar kickboxers look like amateurs. He had a beautiful second round KO of Liam Harrison, and the way he put a clinic on Kenta Yamada was a thing of beauty. It's all about Pet Morikot's left kick. It disrupts people's rhythm. They can't find their flow. They can't get into their movement because that left kick just keeps coming. And he does it off the back foot, Michael. It comes out of nowhere. Mitch, we've seen a night of so many shots so far. Cosmo Alessandre, face plant knockout of Sage Norkin. We just saw Yodson Thai Iway Vertex, undefeated in his last 31, get beaten by Sammy, AK-47 Santa. Is the lock-in for another upset in this one, perhaps? Can Pet Morikov do it? There's a lot of people who aren't saying it publicly. A lot of people in private are saying Pet Morikov can do it. He's got all the tools, and it all starts with, with his left kick. Watch the timing of it. We're going to see it from a lot of different angles. We're going to see the way Giorgio Petrosian starts to apply that pressure. Boom, there comes the left kick. It's going to disrupt Petrosian's rhythm, and that's what Petrosian needs. He needs to find that rhythm over and over again, and that's what we're looking for. This is the big one for Pet Morrigan. He wins this, he goes into the semi-final round. He takes on Smoke and Joe Narawa in an all-tie battle. He moves one step closer 
to US $1 million. The richest prize purse in kickboxing history is up for grabs. And this man, Pep Morricot, get it. Pep Morricot and Giorgio Petrosian, quarterfinal number four. It's a one Super Series kickboxing clash, sit for three three-minute rounds. It is Italy versus Thailand. Kickboxer versus Muay Thai stylist. Pet Morrow got two centimeters the taller. The younger by eight years. Let's go to Tom Lamb. Ladies and gentlemen, this match is three rounds of three minutes in a one featherweight kickboxing world Grand Prix quarter final. Introducing first, out of the blue corner, he is a five-time kickboxing world champion, standing at 178 centimeters tall, holding a kickboxing record of 99 wins and two losses. Training out of Team Petrosian, representing Italy. Put your hands together for Giorgio. And now, introducing his opponent out of the red corner, he is a three-time Muay Thai world champion, standing at 180 centimeters tall, holding a Muay Thai record of 158 wins and 34 losses. Training out of Pinyanki Academy, representing Thailand. He is Pet Monaco Pinyanki Academy. And when the action begins, your referee in charge, Mr. Atsushi Onari. No air okay? No pinching, okay? But moments before, a Giorgio Petrosian match. Nothing else beats it. Muay Thai world Judge. champion, Pit Morigot. Kickboxing world champion, Judge. Petrosian. I'm... Inside the sold-out Singapore Indoor Stadium for the right to move into the semi-final round and face Smoker, Joe Nalawa. Go! Petrosian has been the overall favorite in the early picks for this tournament. How will the doctor fare here? Can he set the metronome, set that rhythm? Can Pit Morricot disrupt the rhythm as Mitch said he needs to? Yeah, watch this, watch this right hand to the left combination. It's a thing of beauty. You can see Petrosian immediately start to work on the legs of Pet Morricot, trying to slow down that lean into the big left kick that Pet Morricot has. Drones here in it renowned for picking opponents apart. Studies the spends a lot of time in front of the TV, watches all the footage, develops a game plan and sticks to it. Very hard to put him off his rhythm. seeing uh, Giorgio Petrosian go, go fake a lot. He just did a, a heavy dip to one side just to see what Pet Mor Pet Morcat would do. Um, that's how he starts to dissect everyone, is, is he, he reads your movement, he fakes the movement just to see what you're going to do. Really incredible precision. Oh, Petrosian clips him with a short lead hook. That was nicely done off the right hand out of Southpaw Stars. A two-time K1 Max World Champion. Counters off the roundhouse kick of Pet Morcat. Overhand left there from Petrosian. There's the right hand thrown with power. Some power salvos early here from Giorgio Petrosian Dragon. Morcott's got to create a little bit of space. You can see that left kick's coming, but, but Petrosian just keeps catching it and firing back. Now you can't hold and punch. You have to hold, let go, and then punch. Petrosian undefeated since 2013 when he was knocked out by Andy Risty. He's gone 14 in those seats. World title first time 2009 beat Jabba Askarov, Albert Krauss of New York. Then won against Andy Sauer in the final. Go, go. 2010 to three of the crown against Vitalik Gurkov, Albert Krauss, Mike Zambides, and Yoshihiro Sato. Both were faultless performances. Oh, a clash of boxing wins. But more 
Jericho who drew the short straw. Here comes Petrosian, and again the hooks from Petrosian. The boxing of Giorgio Petrosian is just sublime, Misha. Yeah, I mean, you know, I'm, I'm a little bit impressed that Pat Marquette's getting his own in there, though. He's just not getting the best of these, these exchanges. Um, really good action from both of them so far. Petrosian plucked high, chin tucked, looking through the three three. seconds left in the first round. Beats that jab. Does Pat Marquette duck under from Petrosian? Three punch combination from the Italian. Led war torn Armenia as a 12 year old. Lived on the streets in Milan, outside Thank the bus terminal with his father and his younger brother. Go, go. Eventually found a martial arts gym. Martial arts, kickboxing changed his life. Great friends with Italian soccer star Mario Balotelli, who is no doubt go. watching his mate compete here. Well, in the proud one, we go to the town. Wow. A lot of pressure coming from Giorgio. It just constantly keeps coming. He's given Pet Morricot zero space. Look at that left hook. Boom, just every shot moves Pet Morricot. We've seen over the years that Petrosian slowly adjusted his style to become more of a power hitter. You can see him kind of really lunge into these shots, putting a lot of heat behind each one of them. But just that constant pressure is starting to break down Pet Morikot. And you can see he's found an answer for the left kick. A, he's either evading it, or B, if it goes to the body, he's catching that left kick. Beautiful strategic advancement from the doctor. We are ready to roll, second round, set for three, quarterfinal number four of the one super series featherweight kickboxing world so Grand Prix. Giorgio Petrosian and Pet Morikot pit in the academy inside the sold out Singapore Indoor Stadium. Maybe right you're watching 140 countries around the world. Hope you're enjoying all the action. Pick a load of our Thai fans watching on Thai Rat TV 32. No doubt cheering on Pit Morikot. Go! Morikot can not allow Go. Petrosian to establish his rhythm to get the boxing off. And look out for those little fakes, those little fakes that Misha Tate spoke about in the opening round. Oh, nice flipping left hand there from Petrosian. Pit Morikot puts the head down, weighs in on it. That's how you do Muay Thai. That's not how you do it kickboxing. It won't work with Petrosian. That will keep the reach. Nice straight punching combination there from Pit Morikot. Morikot claps his gloves together. He's right. He's found that rhythm. He's starting to get into it. I like this strategy from Pet Morikot. He's starting to move forward. He's starting to back up Petrosian. Like, see Petrosian off the back foot. Pet Morikot's got to do more of that. Pet Morikot can find the way. As semi center unlocked the Oxen Glide, could Pet Morikot pull off what most people would consider a major upset to take Petrosian out of this tournament? Step through knee there from Petrosian. Pet Good extension on the right hand, Misha. Yeah, yeah, Pet Morikot's starting to do a good job of closing and opening at the appropriate times. He's really hovering no. heavy in that tie defense, which allows uh, him to not take as much damage. And then he opens at just the right time. So he's doing a good job here with that, changing up his strategy. And it's amazing that Alfred no. Morikot trying to pull the head down at Pedrosi for the meet and greet. No. That's Sushi Ona, he breaks them. 125 remaining, second of three. Overhand there yeah. from Petrosian, no. throws a knee of his own. And again, referee Onari breaks it. He's getting a little too no. aggressive inside the clinch. You can see that's kind of his strategy for setting up the box because when he's not in tight, trying to clinch on no. Petrosian, he's getting hit with punches. So he's either, got to, he's either trying to be in really close or he's trying to be really far. Lots of instructions coming from the India Academy corner no. of Pet Morikot. A little quieter in the Italian corner of Petrosian Mania. Go! You only get three seconds inside that clinch, so Pet Morikot's trying to be as active as he can inside that clinch for those three seconds. No. Nice little fold. Petrosian no. half like Origami. Petrosian resets here. This is a better round for Pet Morikot. He's definitely great. No. You see how he slips inside every time that... that uh, Giorgio Petrosian is throwing. No. 30 up. seconds left in the second round. But Marcotte's doing a great job staying inside. See him slip inside every time. Petrosian trying to back him off there. Three punch combination. Oh, Finds oh, oh, out oh. the front kick. A nice whip there from Petrosian. No. Into the midsection from Pit Marcotte. Referee Onari breaks them. 15 seconds on the clock. As you guys said, a much no. better round here for Pit Marcotte. A lot of thinking for Petrosian to do as he eats a clean left hand there. You see Pit Morikot wanted to pull the head down. He's smiling Pit Morikot, he's enjoying himself and he pumps his fist in the air. A 
off the two rounds, Dragon. Yeah, it was a much better round for Pit Morikon. He's got to do that, but a little bit more. It's on the break that Petrosian starts to find those openings through the guard, so he needs to make it a little more dirty. Sold out crowd inside the Singapore Indoor Stadium. There he is, the greatest Olympian, Michael Phelps, once again here at One Championship. Every time One Championship rolls into town, Phelps is here. He loves the One Championship action pitch. Well, with a card like this, how could you miss it? This is the card where you need to show up to, and Pit Morikot is starting to show up because but Petrosian put the heat on him, and there he is. Joseph Schooling, the Olympic gold medalist from Singapore. They love him here. He also loves his dose of one championship. Every time we're here, Joseph Schooling turns out, and they have turned out, packed out, sold out. The hottest ticket in Singapore okay, right now is one championship into the Dragon. Third and final round of the final quarterfinal of the featherweight world no. kickboxing Grand Prix. Who will advance to face Smoke and Joe Nanowak? Will it be Georgia Petrosian? Will it be Pet Morica? No! Nice knee there from Pet Morica. Smiling again. You can hear the Go. corner of Pet Morica shouting, knee, knee. And he throws up the belly button. Overhand left there from Petrosian, the southpaw. Pet Morica stuck through there. Petrosian, no. beautiful footwork. A little poor whip to get out of dodge. See that footwork and also the pairing of the head. No. Watch to avoid the boxing of Petrosian. Jab two combination there from Stop. Petrosian, puts on a knee guard, wisely done from the Italian. Pet Morikot glances towards his corner. Petrosian, the head movement and the counter. Exquisite stuff here from the doctor. And you see the locker forward, Stop. arms extended, multi stylings of Pet Morikot. As Misha said, trying to get on the inside, trying to smother hey. and close down Giorgio Petrosian. And that was a good jab, Misha, from Pet Morikot. For Pit Morikot, you know, I'm really impressed with the way he's adapted his style to make it work for kickboxing, one of the greatest of all time. He keeps finding a way in the inside, and granted, you can only be clinched for three seconds. If you keep doing it, that three seconds is going to add up over a three minute period. Petrosian, what tricks does he have here? Goes a hook, goes a jab, and clinch against the ropes. Referee Amy Nari breaks him. What are you telling Petrosian to do right now, Mitch? He's got to find a way to create a little more angles. I like how he starts turning off and then throwing the right hand in the left. A nice little sweep there. You saw Petrosian in the first round shut down the left kick by catching it and moving his head. But then Pet Morikot changed to this clinch style kickboxing, which he's utilizing very effectively. He is scoring a little bit more than Petrosian is inside the clinch with the knees. I think that's what's scoring a little bit more for Pet Morikot. But a sandwich, this is such a treat to be ringside at. It's like a heady dose of K1 when hey. the greatest all hey. came together in one ring and just threw down against Stop. one another. And we've seen it here tonight. What a tremendous start it's been for the one Stop. super series for the weight kickboxing world Grand Prix. A Stop. Grand Prix in which now Godson yeah, Fly, yeah. Iway Fairtex yeah. is out. Stop. Enrico Cal is out. Will Petrosian or Pit Morikot go out soon? Who knows? We'll find out in about 30 seconds time. Go. 30 seconds left. Going back to that the clinch to avoid the punches of Petrosian. Petrosian keeps moving forward. Nice little overhand left there. Landed by Petrosian. Got about 22 seconds left. It'll be interesting to see how the judges have scored the second and third round because Pet Morikot's been able to use that clinch to kind of nullify the boxing of Petrosian. If we thought Sammy Santa defeating Iway Fairtex was a huge upset, this is even bigger, folks. Oh. Pet Morikot, under these kickboxing rules, takes Giorgio Petrosian out. That would be a truly an upset. Let's see, it's going to go down to the judges. It will be razor thin again. Both corners pump their fists into the air. Wherever you're watching, folks, in 140 countries around the world, how do you score it? Yeah, Petrosian just landed a little bit harder shots. Even though Pet Morikot was coming forward and closing him down with the clinch, Petrosian was still able to land significant shots like that. Then he landed right there. It was beautiful. And then again, with the jab again, and then he comes over the top, kind of misses their graces, the shoulder of Pet Morikot, but the first shot is landing. And that's what I was talking about in the beginning. Pet Morikot is able to figure out people's style and adapt to them, and that's what he did in that match. So it was a very effective, just sort of stylistic strategy by Pet Morikot, but 
I don't know. The doctor unofficially on my scorecards. Gotta give it to the doctor. He still did very well and very accurate with the shots. We're about to find out who goes through to the semi-final round to take on Smoke and Joe Nadawat. Will it be an all-tie affair? Or will it be Thailand versus Italy in a rematch? Wow, this has been just an incredible Grand Prix tournament so far. The best of the best. Another one eliminating Sasha Moisa earlier on tonight on this side of the draw. Who goes home now? Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of battle, we turn now to the judges' scorecards. Judge number one scores this contest in favor of the red corner. Judge number two scores this contest in favor of the blue corner. And judge number three calls this contest in favor of your winner by split decision and advancing to the one featherweight kickboxing world Grand Prix semi-final and one step closer to the one million US dollar grand prize from the Red Corner! Oh, it's the upset! It's the upset! It's the upset! My word, he's done it! Can you believe it? Can you believe it? Pat Borogov taking out Giorgio Petrosian. I didn't think I'd be saying that at the start of the night. But Pat Borogov at Indy Academy has eliminated Giorgio Petrosian. Can you believe it? Mouths agape, shock silence inside the Singapore Indoor Stadium, mouths agape. People are looking on, shocked. Absolute shock. Mitch, I've never seen a crowd like this. It is go silent in here. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm speechless. I can't believe he did it. He does the unthinkable. He beats the doctor at his own game. I told you, Pat Morikot is a master at breaking strategy, and that's exactly what he did. Can I just say, the four athletes who most people did not expect to advance have advanced. Nobody expected Pit Morrigan over Petro.